video I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on The Hateful Eight. So if you are a Tarantino fan, I suggest you, you just walk away from your viewing device right now. That's right. Just walk away quietly and calmly. <laughs> so this, have you gone? <laughs> Please make sure you've gone. <laughs> This is Tarantino's eighth movie and you will all know this when watching the film as he feels the need to inform us this in the credit titles. <sighs> this film is Tarantino trying to be Agatha Christie in a western genre and making a bit of a shambles of it. The idea is good but the execution is poor. There is just no consistency. You know, pick a style and stick with it. You should never have to ask yourself if you should be taking something seriously or laughing. You know, the dialogue is just so bad. It feels like you're watching a pantomime, like a pantomime Western. You know when you had that target on a essay you had to get the word count and you had that school essay and you were just like how am I gonna do this and so you just pad it out you're padding it out with just extra pointless words that is what's going on in this film in this case the extra pointless words are the f word and the n word it really does feel like Samuel Jackson has been cast just so they can use the n-word as many times as possible with no real context other than to shock. It's, it's painful to watch, you know, it's just really painful to watch such talented actors, especially a rising favourite of mine, Walton Goggins, recite this atrocious dialogue. So somewhere within this film is a good movie. If it had been a 90 minute film with tight editing, it could have been something really special. The film actually starts to move an hour into the film. So cut that first act out and you actually have a really entertaining film, just about. Three hour movies should only be for epic movies and this is no epic. This brings me on to the fact that it has been filmed on Panavision 70mm format, which is really cool, you know? I love the fact that we have directors out there willing to explore new and old formats. But, there's a but. If you're going to film on this format, a western at that, why would you film the majority of your film in just one room? Just so many missed opportunities to film the western scenery. So I'll finish off on a positive. This is the best performance by Jennifer Jason Lee. It's not an Oscar winning performance, but she certainly is the best thing about the movie. Tarantino fans, you can come back into the room now. <sighs> Slowly and calmly. Let's all be friends. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, like the video and please leave a comment in the box below. What did you think of The Hateful Eight? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please post to friends on Facebook and retweet on Twitter. My Twitter is at Leah Hather. <laughs>